Check if it's sounding okay. Give me a thumbs up if it's alright. Alright, this one's called Wind Chime. Your eyes for the child 
sound all right I will bring up the page so I can see your comments very very quickly and um, la 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 that song was called wind chime and um, that is based on um, a track uh, which I started writing probably about 2015 it's about trying to find peace in a busy city Busy life. I, I, I grew up on the island, on an island, uh, a place called the Isle of Wight, and then I um, lived in South London. And uh, the speed of each place is uh, polar opposites. But anyway, so and then I had children and things. And um, anyway, that was inspired by that. Uh, there was a wind chime on the windowsill, and then the wind caught the wind chime, and I was going through a bit of a writer's block. And uh, yeah, that track transpired out of it. So let me bring up the comments section here. Uh, thanks, Francis. Thanks, Alan. Love you, see you, man. Um, and John as well. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Lara. I hope you're all well. Hello to my wife, Sarah. Thank you, my love. Um, okay. So. What am I going to play next? Let's take from this tuning. So, if you're all guitarists out there, which most of you who have signed up to the Fingerstyle Hub are, um, I'm using a tuning I used to have from the sixth string to the first string. I used to have D, A, E, so I tuned up my fourth string up to an E, which is deadly for any strings that you have every gig. So it used to be uh, D, A, E, F sharp, A, E, um, and then um, my good friend, Mr. Will McNichol, um, suggested just before a gig, uh, why don't you just put it down a tone? So now I play in uh, C, G, D, E, G, D. Lovely sort of C9 chord. <laughs> Beautiful, and I used that for half of uh, my album, um, Reborn. Uh, which I'm going to play another track for you. So, this is called Stormy Weather Rolls.
sold some prize Buried in our soul questions about the gear or anything uh, please let me know um, thanks Rick no worries uh, this will be up for a while man hey cheers Tommy man and thanks so much to Tommy Luce um, for having me on the Fingerstar Hub uh, real honor to see um, to be invited to this um, and to see this group growing um, there's there's been real need for a finger style thing like this. Uh, I'm really excited to be uh, teaming up with Tommy, Billy and Becky uh, next month uh, for a few dates. Uh, we're gonna be heading up to uh, North England, uh, which conveniently is when I'm gonna be uh, releasing my next album as well. So that was uh, Stormy Weather Rolls. That's how I'll read one as well and that was uh, that's a song about finding closure. So if you've ever gone through anything tragic, it's when you come out the other side. And uh, so I'm gonna do a different tuning. Um, and uh, this was just a single I brought out. I didn't actually put it onto an album, but um, after the next few albums, which I'm gonna be putting out um, over the next year, I want to go back to the guitar vocal side of it. And um, anyway, so I'm using, uh, for any guitar geeks out there, I'm using the custom Cole Clark. These guys are based out of Melbourne. Um, met them at the London Cuse Guitar Show a few years ago, and um, they, they built me a custom one. Um, 
which is absolutely stunning, just, just fits like a glove. And then uh, my good man, Mr. AJ Williams, uh, built me this little sort of scratch pad, and it has a little Guerrero built into it for sort of textures and stuff as well. So, um, sort of this side was sort of inspired by your likes of Thomas Lee and things as well, and then I just decided to tag this bit on the end for a consistent bit. I use this in a, in a track later. I've got to use it a bit more anyway, so. Um, but it's um, Bunya um, top, it's got magnet, uh, magnet, it's got mahogany, and then it's got black bean uh, on the top, and it just, and then I've got two, I've got three pickups built into it for anyone that's interested. So I've got um, piezo underneath the saddle here, I've got a magnetic, uh, Fishman, which has a mic attached to it, and I've rewired it stereo. So when I go live, not for today, I normally have like a little um, digital mixer, a Bose, which a few guys like Mike Dawes and things have used before, um, and um, allows you to plug your three pickups into it and then master out to the, to the desk. Because I always want to be that guy that falls on the right side of the sound guy. Do not piss off the sound guy. So, but I'm using, if anyone interested in, in vocal harmony stuff, I tried to bring this up to the camera, I might, I'll do it at the end, but I'm using a TC Helicon uh, Voice Live 3 Extreme. Um, and although it has looping capabilities, I'm not doing any looping whatsoever today, just the vocal harmony stuff. Um, so. is a track about um, one's self, very deep. Um, it's about the layers within ourself. And uh, if we're ever in a dark place, and I know a lot of musicians, a lot of creators get to that point. throughout this set, so. Okay, so this is C, G, D, G, and then tune your second string up to a C. called uh, Lost at Sea, so um, the lyrics will tell you what it's all about. Um, but uh, if you're ever in a dark place, just think of it as a storm.
pass by with them flown Mindfulness was every time Come on, you're being you know another tuning bit in a minute I'll just take a few questions if you've got any questions Hayes um, whether it's about the music or whether it's about um, gear anything um, if not don't worry I'll tune in right at the end so thanks Stefan uh, where am I going all right to the land of Dagad Flowers blossom. You don't want to hear that. So, um, I'm just going to go through my gear, I think. Uh, yeah, so I use the, the vocal, uh, the Voice Live 3 Extreme. Uh, on my Cole Clark, I use Elixir strings, Phosphor Bronze, 12s, lovely, lovely. Tried everything under the sun, and um, 
I think it's when I used to tune my four string, my D up to an E, that uh, the, the fossil bronze were the only ones that could handle it. Um, every gig I would snap a string and um, the elixir ones would at least keep for two or three gigs. But now they keep for a while because I've now um, detuned all those songs that I do down a tone. So. Okay. Conveniently, I, um, I use G7th capos, the best in the world. I have like eight of these babies, and um, I've just got the new Performance 3, with the R ART technology. And man, it's the dogs, it's just like, keeps everything in tune, no buzzing. Uh, don't worry, I'm not on commission here on this live stream, I'm just letting you know what I use. <laughs> Um, but uh, if you've never checked out these guys, please do. Um, Nick and Simon and now Tommy are just wonderful guys, really, really. Um, and I think it's been maybe three or four years um, that I've been using these and um, I haven't looked back. All my students pretty much use them as well and um, I encourage them. So anyway, that's what I'm using, I'm using the Performance 3 for these. So. Um, lovely jubbly and then if I drop that one I've got a performance too so <laughs> so I just brought out a track uh, this week uh, as part of the new album coming out at the end of July um, the the new album's a solo guitar album it was, it's like a item from my bucket list. I always wanted to bring out a solo guitar album and I thought I'd do that as the third album. So um, it's basically based on a calendar. Um, there's a track for every uh, month of the year and then it has an alternate title tool. Um, and this one I brought out is for April. So April showers, which um, hasn't really worked out like the, this year over in the UK. Um, it's been uh, more like June showers we've had we've had ridiculous amounts of rain but anyway I digress um, so what I did similar to wind chime because um, I loved sort of playing behind the capo here so sort of create those different textures um, and I tried it on different guitars but it doesn't doesn't work as effectively as this one so I don't know that's to do with the tension of the strings uh, compared that with the capo but um, turn the, the, the mic up a little bit more but that basically it's a way of mimicking rain hitting puddles and gutters and things as well and then building a song around it without being pretentious and um, I just want to discover all the sort of different textures and things as well and there's a lot of us sort of percussive fingerstyle guitarists but what I mean my idea of it is I want to always it's always about the piece not that, you know, um, technique is, is, is always a fantastic thing, but it's always to do with the piece um, and how I can enhance that with different textures and things as well. Um, that's why I kind of don't do this too much. I don't want to do too much tapping and um, or too much vocal harmony or a beatbox, which I've done in the past and I don't do too much of that. But anyway, this is called Reminiscent Rain because all my memories are pretty much in the rain. Um, here in the UK and uh, with our three days of summer every year so anyway <laughs>
All right. Okay, so that hasn't been out on the road very long. So I've only played that a few times, so. Okay, cool. So how are we all doing? How are you all doing on this? Well, it's past nine o'clock here in the UK. So uh, other guitarists that have been on these channels have had a uh, coffee. So uh, it all depends on whether you want a midweek beer or uh, I'm on the water. I swear it's water, so. Anyway, let me play you another one. Um, it's in Dagad and it's got Capo 3, that's very convenient. <laughs> So I grew up on a place, like I said earlier, on a, um, an island called the Isle of Wight uh, in the south of England. And I moved off there. And I met my wife in a place called Southampton. And then uh, we settled down in the sort of South London area. Got married, had kids and things. And um, I realised growing up on a place like that was such a beautiful thing that I never really took in. And so I decided to write a track about it, about my relationship between this island and then the rest of the world, which is called the mainland. And uh, in this track, again, it uses a bit of percussion things as well, but um, there is the percussion mimics the, the boat crossing. And then some of the words are to do with uh, some of the villages and things that I grew up in. And then there's a midsection, uh, which uh, the sort of little motif um, mimics the church bells of a place called Carisbrook, where I grew up. Um, and it's very quaint um, and reminds me of the countryside. So this is called White, as in Isle of Wight. I hope you like it. <laughs> Bring back those old times 
So that is White, and that's off my album Reborn. So I am going to leave you uh, with one more, and uh... <laughs> thanks, Boris. Yes, layers like an onion. <laughs> cool. Okay, um, tips on practicing. Tips on practicing efficiently. Okay, so this is the room that I actually do uh, guitar lessons, and that's where I've been tonight, and then I've done my live stream. So, my tips. Um, what do I say? Um, slow equals smooth equals fast. Okay, so it's very common, but you've just got to slow it down, it, iron it out, and then you can speed it back up to whatever speed you like. But you've got to be able to slow it down to that speed to be able to hit, hit that point um, where you know whether you've got uh, your finger in the wrong place or um, there's a buzzy note or you're not quite getting the rhythms right. So, for instance, the next track I'm going to do, um, I, I did it impeccably slow, like Wind Chime, actually, the first track I did. It took me six months to put together, and that's like most of us fingerstyle guitarists. Um, as a singer-songwriter, I used to be from a rock pop background and I used to write a song maybe every two days, every week or whatever it was. And then when I took two years out to sort of come out, not, sort of carve out this style, um, I did it in a, a different way. So I'll, I'll come back round, but um, rather than sort of influenced by lots of other guitarists, I actually carved a hole out the back of the guitar and put a snare drum in it and then did it with a recital and it went horribly wrong. But then at the end of it, I came out all right and then learn how to do electronics and things as well. So there's a lot of trial and error with all these things, but um, slow equals smooth equals fast. Um, I always do another thing with my pupils, which is you have to play it four times perfectly in a row, whether that's a phrase, a hook, um, a section, without making a mistake. If you make a mistake, you've got to go back to the beginning. So that's one thing. Um, if you're going for a piece and you've written it out, you've got to circle down the different areas and then magnify. Magnify is the key thing. So as a young father, um, I get probably now about five, 10 minutes practice time a day compared to my two or three hours I used to get back in the day. So now it's about magnifying that time. So I will literally go through the chime section of wind chime and then I'll go through another section of another song that I may find will trip me up. So, and to get into this, particular style, not finger style, but finger style was singing over the top. Um, I had to get not only left hand coordination and right hand coordination, I had to get upper coordination. So it was like a triangle. And um, then I had to put one on autopilot so I was able to sing the other. And then with some of us as well, we have pedals as well. So you're creating a diamond shape. So you're having to tiptoe at the same time as doing your left hand, doing your right hand. So upstairs we're screaming sometimes because we're trying to take it all in and a performance at the same time um, but it's trying to smile and enjoy it and um, contain the adrenaline as well so don't let it get um, to you too much reborn took me four years to put together so it wasn't an overnight thing um, but anyway practicing that is my advice um, with those sort of foundations um, I can't think what else I do. I mean, metronome. Um, I had a really good tip from Minelli Jamal, and he said, try and play everything really slow. Um, and uh, that's worked out really well. So all my songs, like half the speed, even singing, um, and you'll be able to control the, not only the tempo, but the adrenaline when it's live. I've heard my performances back and they're super fast in some cases. So, um, that is a very long-winded way of saying focus practice. Uh, that's what it is, focus practice. Say if you only got four minutes of practice, you do two minutes of focus time and you do two minutes of free play. So two minutes focus for non-stop, no distractions of something that you're working on. Then you get to do two minutes of free play. Um, then you obviously you can expand that. You can do another four minute block. Or if you've got 10 minutes, you do five minutes focus, five minutes free, then you've got the balance. And that's what I work with my teaching. There is theory, there is technique and everything as well, but you've got to fall in love with what you're doing for that technique and that theory to come along organically. So um, anyway, that is my 
two pence, as it were. So I'm going to finish with a cover. Um, and this one was one of my one of my dad's favorite tracks, and. Uh, Growing up, I used to sit in the back of the car and uh, he used to play Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Genesis, Police, all these bands that I thought were absolutely rubbish. <laughs> and then um, re not realizing as I grew up that actually is my musical DNA. Um, and they've stuck with me now. Um, so my dad's favorite all time song is Stairway to Heaven. And um, I got to play it with Billy, Billy Watman last month at a gig and that was fantastic. But Dark Side of the Moon is one of those albums that he played on repeat constantly. And again, I was thought, what is this crap? Uh, but then it wasn't until I went to university and met some amazing guys and we got in a band and we played the Dark Side of the Moon at a sort of local pub called the Royal Oak. And um, we had silence, <laughs> but, it, it, but the experience was amazing. But one of those tracks that stood out for me was Money. And Money was, it's probably the most commercial track on that, uh, uh, on Dark Side. But when you strip down all the layers, I mean, in, you know, in the present time, it's not mainstream whatsoever. You've got your 7-8, you've got your Hammond organ, you've got the, the constant beat, which I had to change, so I had to adapt for, for this particular arrangement. And then obviously the vocal, you've got the sax solo, you've got the solo. It's just, it's just an incredible piece. Um, and I've been in covers acts for years. I used to be a, a bit of background. I used to be a front man for many, many rock bands touring around the country and the world and things. And um, I started guitar when I was eight and then I started singing when I was 12. And singing was, I, I used to dip in and out. Um, but it wasn't until I went solo where I was able to combine the guitar and vocal together. So This is my interpretation of money. Slightly shorter version than the... Uh... And I'm on this uh, exotic tuning called Standard. Daniel, I'm using a coal clock.
so much so I hope you've uh, enjoyed that and um, thank you so much to Tommy uh, to Fingerstyle Hub for having me and uh, yeah yeah and I, I yeah thanks Deck and check out check out the YouTube link that he's just put up um, Mr. Declan Sapala actually mixed this thing uh, and it was an absolute honor putting that putting that EP together um, hopefully I'll do more in the future so uh, that's awesome Daniel anyone um, got any questions or anything they want to ask before I go so you know this thing actually is hitting almost an hour that would be interesting if we can clock that to then but don't worry um, so thank you everybody and um, if you want to know more I've got links in this little uh, video here cool um it's pretty hot in here so i am going to stop the track actually i'm just gonna have a bottle you know i've got a bottle of water in here i can stick around so how was everyone's evening okay just joking so um i will i'll clock off here and then i'll um i'll chat to you all afterwards in front of a laptop so Again, thank you so much. Um, if you've got any questions, please fire away. And uh, please help Tommy grow up this group even more. Please share it and uh, invite people. Uh, we want to make this thing a monster. And uh, anyway, thank you so much. Take care. Raspi Jusub. Bye-bye.